right guys, um, welcome to the channel, it's a little bit different today, so I've just stopped for a, a little coffee break. Um, got my coffee here, doing a bit of gardening today again, um, between me jobs, just thought I'd stop for 20 minutes. Now, yeah, so you can probably see from the title, I had a bit of bother with uh, one of the customers a couple of weeks back, and I thought I'd do a video just to get some advice really, just see what other people do in these kinds of situations, because... It quite annoyed us to be honest and um, I'm sure you know if you're watching this and you're a self-employed gardener you'll have been in similar situations I mean I'm just six months into the job uh, into the business and um, so I'm quite new and I'm sure people watching this will have done it for years and years and you'll have encountered your fair share of um, what you would call them sort of miserable customers probably most polite way or polite name so yeah so this job it was a big job it was a back garden tidy and clearance it was waste away uh, it was a 200 quid uh, 200 quid job and I got a mate to come and help us two man job really oh, it makes it easier and uh, it was on a slope the garden was on a slope two slopes with steps either side was no grass so it was weeding the pavements and then getting the called a bit of a bank so the two banks were just covered full of weeds full of grass dead grass like bits of everything in the one of the whole lot just cleared and taken away and uh, there was some sort of bushes and things at the back and next door's overgrown garden was grown in and just blitzed the whole lot and um and take it away so yeah so went round at uh, the agreed time and everything and uh, we agreed the price beforehand on the court uh, £200 so it was a good job and so when I first was talking to the customer she struck us as just being a bit sort of I don't know a bit a bit miserable probably which is fine you know you, you don't know people's circumstances and people might have had bad days and all the rest of it so you know no problem with that you, you sort of deal with all sorts of people and things so that's fine um, but I was trying to talk to her about the garden and this is what annoyed us a little bit for the start of it this is what sort of set it off so um, I was trying to talk to ask her a few questions because she had a few rose bushes and I didn't know whether she wanted them out and that kind of thing and um, I started talking with 30 seconds in the phone starts ringing now what I haven't told you is her husband didn't really want us there she sort of told us that pretty much used those words, she said uh, my husband doesn't really want you here but I do uh, it's my birthday in a few weeks I'm treating myself to get the garden tidied uh, so I thought it, that sort of made us think well it's not the best really um, you know will, will I get paid at the end of it will he kick up a fuss, will he not be happy blah 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 but I thought £200 I'm just going to go with it, it'll probably be fine so anyway so yeah so I started talking to her about the garden and um, so the phone starts ringing, I know the, the husband sat in the living room and uh, he didn't come out to say hello or anything like that. I, I saw him in the window in the kitchen and I smiled and didn't get anything back so I thought right, you can get lost in type of thing. Obviously didn't say anything, that's the way it goes. So yeah, I fully expected the husband to go and answer the phone but uh, she didn't say oh just give us two seconds. She, she wasn't very pleasant I think really is the, the right sort of phrase. So she just goes and answers the phone, didn't say, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, just give us a minute. So I was stood there like a bit of a bit of an idiot, uh, just waiting for it to come back because I needed to find a few bits and pieces out. So anyway, five minutes later, I mean, I was pottering about a bit, trying to look busy and things, so I'm not stood like an absolute lemon. But um, yeah, so it was just all a bit like unfriendly, really. And um, so yeah, so we got sorted. Um, I found out what I needed to find out and started working on the job but the weather was absolutely horrible uh, it was raining and it was just getting heavier and heavier so it was me and my helper we ended up basically staying for uh, for about an hour and a half before it got absolutely you know I know we weren't doing grass so we couldn't really we couldn't damage the grass or do more damage to the garden or that any of that kind of thing but it was like the kind of weather where you just think nah it's, it's too much you know I, I'm quite happy working in the rain like um, 
you know, most of us are, but it gets to a point where you just think, I've got to sort of either give a five, ten minutes in the car, or the van, I'm in the car today, the van's getting fixed at the garage, um, or you call it a day. Now, I had a, a spare afternoon in, in a couple of days' time, so the weather was predicted to be rubbish anyway for the day, so um, I give her a knock on the window and I said, look, like, I'm free, whatever day it was. I'll come back then because this is just uh, it's horrendous. It was, it was a bad job to begin with, really, in terms of you're on your hands and knees weeding, and when it's soaking like that in the mud, it's just you'll know yourselves, it's horrible. So, anyway, came back um, two, three days later, whatever it was, but my helper wasn't very well, so it was just me. And um, this is where the problem kind of started a little bit. So, I, I give her a knock, I say, All right, I'm back. Like made a joke about the rain again, and that was pleasant. I always try to be, and um, same sort of attitude. Really, it was a bit of an attitude problem, I think. With her, and uh, she said, "Oh, well, it's raining again." I said, "I made a joke again. I can't remember what I said. Now it's probably some crap." Um, and I just said, "Yeah, like it's got to be done today, like because I didn't have any more space in the diary for another good couple of weeks, and uh, I think it was late June, and obviously the diary just." crazy time really for a gardener so um yeah so it had to be done that day basically I had to get it done I was by myself and that wasn't a problem used to hard work whatever let's get the job done um, but yeah it was just just something about sort of the the manner and sort of which she was saying things she sort of was saying like um, it's raining again I made a joke she said oh where's the other lad I said oh like he's not very well yeah, I'm just here by myself, but don't worry, it'll get done, you know, ready for your birthday, I'll be done today. All the waste will be taken away, and you'll have your garden looking all nice. And, yeah, I, I thought you would have just said, right, that's great, no problem, crack on. You know, like most people would. Uh, but, yeah, she was, just, she was just a bit funny. She was just sort of saying things like, um, you know, you, it's, it's, really, it's, it's worse today. The weather's worse today. You, you, you know, you went home last time. It's like, well, yeah, but I'm back now. You know, I'm, I'm here, and I wasn't being funny with her. I was being polite, you know, and I just said, yeah. Again, just making light of the situation, even though I was drenched a bit even before we started. You know, I, I knew what day the, you know, what uh, what the day had in store. Really, it was a bad enough job on the. You know, best of days, but when you're soaking and you're on your hands and knees and everything you're dragging up and picking out the ground is absolutely soaking. It's not the best. Uh, and then she said, this is the thing what got us, then she said something which sort of really got me back up. She said, uh, do you want the job? Now I turned up before with me mate with the best of intentions to finish it that day. The weather was absolutely, it was torrential. It's what I call like cinema rain. The type of rain, you know, the fake rain that you get which is just way over the top and just totally hammering down unrealistically, it was that sort of rain. So yeah, we, we left her for that day and as I had an afternoon free, we came back. Told her, I said, look, I'm not bothered about the, the weather today, it has to get done because I haven't got time. She says, well, can you not come back, I don't know when it was, on Monday? And this is what got us, you know, I'd turned up in the rain, you know, ready to crack on and do it. She was just questioning us really and I, d I still don't know why maybe I'm missing something just uh, if any of you guys know just let us just put it in the comments because I was really like I didn't know what she was getting at she was almost trying to stop us and yeah it's just she said you want the job and I said I didn't lose my rag or anything but I said look like I'm here I've turned up it's raining there's you know not everyone would turn up today they'd maybe just sack it off I don't know but I said, yeah, I'm here. I said, of course, I want the job. And I said, I says, you don't. It's as though you don't really want us to be here. And I said, I'm not sure why. I said, I've turned up. I tried to do it the other day. It was rained off. I've got no choice but to complete it today. And I said, you seem to be sort of not not happy that I'm here. And um, yeah, she sort of. I think she was a bit surprised that I'd said that to be honest, because I've been totally fine with her. And, I always am with my customers. I mean, this isn't a regular. This was a one-off. But uh, even though, even so, you know, you, you obviously you play with everyone. It's just otherwise you'll get no work and stuff. But yeah, I don't know why she said that. 
Um, so yes, yeah, so and my question is really, has anyone had any similar sort of situations and things? And um, that being said, mine, I must say, if it was a cheaper job, I'd have walked. You know, it was a it was a two hundred pound job, as I've said. I'd already paid the other lad for the couple of hours that we did, so I was down a little bit, not much, but a little bit. And uh, it was a big payday that one. You know, so there's no way I would have walked unless, like, she was absolutely. I don't know, unless she was just telling us to, you know, this and that, whatever. Um, if it was a cheap 50 quid job, I'd have gone home, I think I'd have walked. Um, so yeah, just let us know what would you have done in that situation. I'm basically getting the people who are sort of ungrateful, like you've even turned up, strangely. Uh, nothing to do with the work, she was happy with the job, it all turned out fine, you know, she'd sort of changed her attitude a bit and just said, oh, really pleased with the garden paid us the money, didn't see much of the husband, um, so yeah, so it worked out well in the end, even though it was just an horrendous day, I was just absolutely so wet through, and that's the nature of gardening, isn't it, um, so yeah, tell us if you've got anything similar, just let us know, uh, because, you know, it really wound us up, lad, I, I maybe shouldn't have, you know, got us, I don't know, emotionally, attached to the whole thing, I don't know, I don't know really what I'm trying to say, it's quite difficult, um, I should maybe just try not to care as much, I don't know, um, it's a funny one, so yeah, do let us know, uh, I'm trying to grow this channel as well, so I've got my allotment, it's sort of half allotment, half, you know, self-employed gardener kind of videos, um, I'll be doing a video on how I got started as well, so if you're interested in that, hit the subscribe button, and uh, as I say, just trying to grow the channel, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, and if you could subscribe that would be great and I'll try and bring a few more of these videos and just uh, a little bit of everything just what I've been doing really so I'll leave that one there please do comment and let us know if I'm being stupid or you know why should I care what kind of attitude the customer has you know and I'm getting a bit annoyed now so I will wrap it up there but uh, it's the fact that she said you want the job now I know we're self-employed you know I turned up I did want the job I'm there and the pouring rain, ready to work. So yeah, that just got us a little bit annoyed, but anyway. I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, guys, if you've made it this far. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video.